In the heart of the Free State, Atari Farming is cultivating the future of agriculture, game and elite Dorma and Suffolk breeding through trust and shared values. Renowned for their commitment to the Dorma breed and sustainable agriculture, Atari Farming continues to lead with purpose. Hello, I'm Stefan Boshoff. Um, our business is called Prestige Construction and we've been in the um, EPC electrical and civil engineering industry for over 30 years. We're at Atari Farming, which is an agricultural operation on the outskirts of Bloemfontein. It is owned by Marius and Jan Ekstien. And over the years, we've developed a relationship of mutual cooperation and trust with, um, with what we do for them on the farm as Prestige Construction. So um, we are a long-standing supplier, contractor, consultant, call it what you like, on the farm. And um, the farming operation itself basically stands on four legs, where we do things on time to very high standards without wastage and with joy. So that, that's the, the four um, ground principles of the farming operation. And it's all about the responsible custodianship of all the available resources on the farm. So every inch of land is, is utilized to the, to the best of the capability that it offers. And um, we are basically part of the family here. And um, because of the, the resource utilization and the, the philosophy of the operation, it was basically a no-brainer that solar energy came into play. Um, being a sustainable solution, um, it, um, it ensures a constant supply of electricity and there's a cost saving involved at the end of the day. So like I said, it, um, it's a no-brainer that, um, that sustainable energy and solar power became part of the operation here. Atari Farming now benefits from over 300 kilowatt peak of solar capacity and nearly 340 kilowatt hour of backup storage, ensuring reliable, clean energy across the farm. The main operation or the main activities on the farm is, is basically two things. It's irrigation, crop farming. So there's, um, there's quite a few um, pivot irrigation systems. And then there's livestock sheep farming going on mainly with, um, with a champion dormer stud in South Africa is housed here. The, the irrigation part um, of, of the farm um, consumes a lot of energy. So um, for that reason, we had to look at, um, at energy as, as one of the main drivers of the, of the cost part of the business. We designed systems on the farm. There's in, there's in excess of 250 kilowatts of, of solar power installed on the farm now. And it's utilized mainly for, for pumping of water. And um, so there's several pumps and we, um, we fully utilize all the technology available. So we've got remote control and access to all the pivots, all the pumps, the solar systems. And um, we set up the, um, the, the systems on the farm in an, in an arbitrage um, arrangement so that we, um, we utilize the ESCOM power as, as efficiently as possible. And we, um, we use solar power wherever we can. So um, as it stands, even in the middle of winter, we don't draw one kilowatt hour of peak time power. Um, and with the arbitrage philosophy or strategy, we, um, we're able to, um, to manage the energy for, for the most cost-effective system and the most cost-effective utilization on the farm. The SIG energy system with 76 kilowatt peak of solar and 96 kilowatt hour of backup plays a vital role in powering Hatari's future, from breeding facilities to irrigation and beyond. Okay, so what we have here is um, a 50 kilowatt SIG energy system. It's fed um, by 76 kilowatt peak of solar panels on, on the outside here, which is mounted on ground mounted structures. Um, we have a 120 kilowatt um, gateway here. The gateway sizing is according to the transformer, so it gives us uh, the capacity to extend the plant um, as, as we go along. For now, we've only installed for about 50 kilowatt because that's what we need here now. And then we've got about 96 kilowatt um, hours of battery capacity here. Um, our PV combiner boxes here, where, um, where our solar strings are coming into the building. And then um, the building's own DVs there. 
So um, this then um, forms a system that mainly draws um, irrigation equipment, so there's nice and constant balanced inductive loads on it. And there's um, quite a few pumps and um, pivot irrigation systems, etc. that gets and that draws power from the system. Latest installations on the farm, we utilize the SIG energy systems. Um, the SIG energy is definitely um, the best when it comes to the, the technology and the efficiency of the systems um, in, in today's environment. So um, we're very happy with the SIG energies and they, they do everything that we want them to do on the farm. And we've got full control over the utilization of, of the power. So um, we can set it up um, exactly the way we want it and it works very well together with the irrigation and the pumping and everything that's going on here. Okay, so what we have here is a 150 kilowatt installation. It's 150 kilowatts of AC capacity with about 190 kilowatt of um, PV peak capacity and 180 kilowatt hours of, of backup battery capacity. Um, the system is connected to the ESCOM grid. So um, we also employ an arbitrage um, philosophy or strategy here, where we utilize the, um, the ESCOM power in the off-peak times. And during the peak times, we can, um, we can either sell the excess power back to ESCOM or use um, the, the peak power um, during the peak rate at off-peak at, at off cost that, um, that ESCOM charges. So in this DB, we have the, the ESCOM supply coming in here and the, the distribution to the, to the inverters. Um, we have a power meter here where we, um, where we can compare our readings. So we have a, um, a bi-directional meter there where we can exactly see and monitor what we export and what we import and, um, and compare that to the ESCOM account and make sure that we, we keep them honest in the process. Um, this is where the inverters come together. So um, this is our distribution board to the inverters. And we have a, a bypass switch here for um, when anything goes wrong, we, um, we don't lose any connectivity. And then here's where we integrate the diesel generator. So um, there's a diesel generator here that's integrated to the system and the system fully controls when the generator has to start. The only time it'll ever come on is um, if there's, there's no ESCOM power and it's raining outside. So it's just a backup for when there's no battery, no sunshine and no ESCOM, then we still have the diesel generator as a backup here. The design of these large DBs we do um, in compare or in conjunction with Industrial Ec. So um, Eugene and his staff help us quite a lot with um, with the design, and we make sure that these boys boards fully comply with the regulations, and we get a very high quality product from Industrial Ec. And um, it's also a very um, mutually beneficial partnership for all of us. In, in, in these boards here is, is where the solar PV strings come into the building, and we distribute from um, from the strings to the inverters through here. And the beauty of all of this is that you can buy all this auxiliary material from Harold's as well. So it's not only about the supply of the inverter and the battery, um, all the material that we need to build these sites, um, we can get it at, at like a one-stop shop through Harold's. Um, it includes the isolators, the um, fuses, the surge arresters, circuit breakers, everything, cable, cable racking, everything comes, comes through Harold's, which makes it very convenient and, um, and very simple to specify and um, procure the materials for a system. Atari Farming blends tradition with technology, passion with progress, all powered by the sun. Part of the technology infrastructure on the farm, um, we had to get the internet to all the different places where we, where we required it for the camera systems, security systems, control of pumps, control of irrigation, etc. Um, and the solar systems for that matter. Um, so we had to, um, to, to build two towers, um, like the one you can see behind me here. So that's also solar powered because there's no um, electricity close to that tower here. And, um, so we distribute the, um, the internet and the Wi-Fi, etc., from from these towers, and um, they then make sure that we um, that we have reliability 
um, in the internet connection so that the, the technology is always online. Down at the bottom there, we see the RAMS table. So um, that's where we um, do all the work required on the dormer sheep study. And on top of the, um, the warehouse there, you can see the solar panels. So that, um, that system is also um, solar powered. There's about 60 kilowatts peak of, um, of solar panels on the roof with a 50 kilowatt AC capacity and about the 60 kilowatt backup capacity. So um, with that system, we can make sure that um, that everything down there is always um, powered and that, um, that the sustainability that we're looking for is also rolled out to that part of the operation. So the key considerations here is, um, is mainly about the irrigation. So um, we had to look at, um, at the seasonal adjustments um, when, um, when the irrigation is, is actually happening. So um, it's about the seasons and, and what crop is planted at what time of the year. And then the, the amount of water that we require to, um, to get onto the fields and how we get it to the fields. In other words, the pumping capacity. The, the, um, so we, we were able to, um, to match the pumping capacity with the energy that we provide on the farm. And um, in so doing, we, um, we've future-proofed basically the energy and the costing of that for the, for the farming operation. And um, we, um, we're not as reliant on ESCOM as, as it used to be. Um, in fact, we, we don't use ESCOM at all in the, um, in the parts where we've installed the solar systems because um, they're properly designed and they actually do what we, um, we want them to do. And it fits in very well with the overall operation of the, of the farm, yeah. The, the, the farming operation is, um, is, a, is a sustainable farming um, philosophy. So um, sustainability into the future is very important. And um, there's always next year. So you can't op um, run any farming operation without thinking about the future. So um, what we've done with the solar systems is we've ensured that there'll always be energy available. And we've made sure that we know exactly what the cost of that energy is going to be. So there's a cost element that we now have full control over, which previously um, was a complete unknown. And there, there's nobody that can tell you what, um, what grid energy is going to cost in five years time. With the solar systems we've installed here, we know exactly what the cost structure is. And it's fixed and it's not going to change until um, for, for the complete lifetime of the system. This is more than just the farm. It's a vision for the future. Sustainable, resilient and proudly South African. Okay, we're at the pump station here now, so this is the point from which the water is distributed throughout the farm. So, um, so we, behind us here we've got the dam where the water is, uh, is stored. And then from there the pumps um, through a network of pipes throughout the farm dis distribute the water to all the different pivot and irrigation systems. And um, the, um, the whole farm basically gets, it gets, gets its irrigation water from these, uh, these pumps in, in the pumping system here. Prestige Construction is, um, is, is proud to be part of this operation. Um, our involvement on the farm goes much wider than just the, the solar systems. We do all the electrical work and um, as we said, we, we part of the, of the irrigation, the pumping, the, the stock farming, the fixing of tractors and implements. So it's, it's basically a full engineering responsibility that we have on the farm. And it's, um, and it's a very good relationship that we're able to run together with Marius and Jan Ekstien where, where there's mutual cooperation and trust. And um, the farm actually runs very well based on, um, on, on this relationship. And um, we're quite proud of being part of this operation. So this is the end of our tour. Thank you for walking with us and um, watching the video with us. Um, I hope you've seen that sustainable farming is no longer just about passion and commitment. It's about the utilization of your resources at your disposal and being a good custodian of, of those resources 
and scientifically managing everything um, to the best interest of the stakeholders of the farm. To learn more about solar solutions that empower agriculture, visit Harold's Group. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories from the field. <laughs>